Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing a random indie horror game that I found on the website Itch.io. Uh, it's called Motel. I don't know a great deal about it, apart from we uh, we have supposed to have been looking for help for an hour. Apparently just driving around looking for help for an hour and we come across this motel. I don't know what help we need, but I guess we'll find out. Now, if you like the video, then remember at the end to like the video, or dislike it if you prefer. And uh, consider subscribing. It's totally free. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, let's start the office, I guess. I can't help you. Your room is number six. Come back in an hour. I didn't even ask you for help. Room six. That's room number one. That's got to be number two. Three, four. Okay. Okay. I obviously counted wrong. Set the alarm clock. I hate that sound. Right, back to the office, I guess. So we've got a few cars along here. Can't get into any of the rooms. Come back in. I don't enjoy walking back and forth, you know. Oh, I need exercise, but that's not the point. Okay. In an hour. It sounds like there's bugs crawling around in there. I think I'm glad I can't turn the light on. Sound of an invisible car. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Oh, fuck you. An hour. Again. Are you just trying to make me lose weight? Is that what you're trying to do? Is that your way of helping me? Are you saying I was fat? I'm just big boned. Alrighty, that mattress does not look very pleasant. Shut up. I always hated the sound of that particular alarm. Well, that light wasn't flickering before. sake. Come back in an hour. Come back in an hour. I'm sure it's just an automated record in there that just says that over and over. So is it? 12.03. Oh, that clock actually works. Go back to the office. Some of the lights have gone off now. We've got some cars missing as well. There's at least two missing. I'm back. You're so lucky I cannot punch in this game because I would so punch you right in the mouth. That spooky ambient noise has stopped. Okay, let's, let's, let's move a bit quicker. 
one and five. Right. There's no cars out here now. Oh, there is one there. Just about to see it. I think more and more of these lights are actually going out. Any bets on what they're going to say? There's a surprise. It's a big dark spot. Got, yeah, we have. We've got more and more lights are going out. Okay. It should be about 3.05 when we wake up. 3.06, close enough. Yeah, look at that for a gap in the lights now. I'm assuming that's our car there. Oh, for f Um... We've literally got just this light on, those lights on, for some reason. Okay. We had these lights on, my heart's beating again. Hey, I'll go back in an hour. We've got to go back in the morning. Why does everything suddenly look red? Shut up. Do I really want to go out here? What the hell was that I just heard? Let's just run. Let's not question anything. We'll just run to the office. Oh. The ambient noise stopped. Okay. That I didn't expect. We dead? And it brings me back here, does it? Just out of curiosity. What happened? I think I just broke the game. Did I fall off the world or something? <laughs> What happens if I restart and try again? I think I have broke the game. <laughs> I found a door. It's literally like I've broke the camera. Anyway, that was the motel, everyone. Um, not the best horror games, if I'm honest. You know, there weren't that much in the way of jump scares, a few sort of weird noises and some lights going on and off and that one jump scare at the end, which, in honesty, it didn't get me that much. And just a lot of repetitive, you know, come back in an hour. But um, it's not the worst game I've played. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. You know, as always, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.